world's greatest classical music traditions, Chinese and Western. And that you could actually experience the kind of feelings that the musicians had at the time that music was first originated. And even though the music may have been written recently, it reached back and touched in a way that you could hear how that same music had been played down through the centuries and played not only in human hearts, but to the dance of life. 天地相连, the monkey king, <laughs> when he came off the mountain, and um, yeah, it was interesting to see how he came off screen and then onto the stage. State of the art backdrops that really extend the stage, and as an audience member, you feel like you're transported to a different time or place in China. We want to know the secret. We love the way the performers go up into the up into the backdrop. Wow, that, that, the, the, the timing, the, the, it was so, um, it, it, you just kept dr being drawn to it. You almost wanted to jump off with them. What I'm fascinated by is the desire to ensure that the history, which is 5,000 years old, continues to be told. And I have studied Chinese history, and I feel like having seen tonight's show, I still know so little. I think most people don't know how wonderful the Chinese people are. We kind of got stuck in the, in, the, in the late communist era, and we don't realize how beautiful the people really are. I found the message to be that this is, this is Chinese culture. This is what we hold dear, and this is what we want to show to the world, to say that we love you all and that we want you to share this with us. We don't want to keep it to ourselves. We want to absolutely share it with the world. We say that 5,000 years of Chinese civilization was passed down by the heavens. So we see some of these stories and legends on stage. I feel the divine through the sight, the ears, the eyes, the music, the words of the songs in every part, from the, the choreography to the costumes to the smiles and the light on the dancers' faces.